Did you just say that evolution is just a theory, as if it's only a theory and not also a fact? As if to imply that the foundation of modern biology is somehow uncertain? As if no one knows for sure or can prove that I'm wrong so I can still believe whatever I want? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like that at all. I've covered this before. It's one of the foundational falsehoods of creationism. But since this is the Pratt list of points refuted a thousand times, then it bears repeating. There's a difference between a scientific theory and a mathematic theory, and both are different from the colloquial notion that a theory is just a blind guess or empty, baseless speculation, like religion is. A scientific theory is a body of knowledge that begins with hypothesis, which could be interpreted as a guess, but one that is testable, meaning experiments can be devised wherein that hypothesis can either be verified or falsified. Those are the minimal requirements, or it doesn't even count as a hypothesis, because there has to be some way to show whether it is supported or should be discarded. Those are the only choices. So notice the obvious reason why religious beliefs will never submit to that. Because faith doesn't want to figure out how things really are. Faith wants to make believe something else instead, regardless of what the truth is. A scientific theory also has to be based on and explain factual observations of natural phenomena, which is another thing religion doesn't and can't do. For one thing, nothing that religions believe is ever observed. Instead, they're all made up. Likewise, saying God did it doesn't explain how anything happened or why things are the way they are. You can call it a miracle, but that doesn't explain anything, and it isn't true either. You can't call it truth unless you can show that it is true. Understand that the truth is what the facts are, and the unsupported assertions have no more validity than the claims that have been proven wrong. So any facts or knowledge you cite better be objectively demonstrable, or else you're making things up and talking out of your ass. If you can't show it, you don't know it. And if you can't show the truth of it, you can't say there is any truth to it. If you can't give us a reason to believe you, we have no reason to believe you, which is a pretty good reason not to. It's not like a theory could be proven and then become a law, either. And natural laws are just the summary statements or equations men devise trying to understand what they've observed. Theories are higher than laws. A scientific theory is a verifiably accurate explanation with practical application encompassing a body of facts, natural laws, and other associated hypotheses within that particular field of study. Intelligent design isn't a competing theory, either. Creationism meets exactly none of the criteria required of a scientific theory. It isn't even a hypothesis because it can't be tested and it doesn't have any possible potential reality to it either. It is literally no more than a delusion, a fixed false belief that will not change despite evidence to the contrary. The criteria required of a theory has been refined in modern times. It's much more strict now, with the standards much higher. That's why no scientific theory has been disproved in more than a century, because nowadays hypotheses kind of have to be proved already before they can graduate to the level of theory. Now let me explain. There is a rule that theories can only be disproved, that they can never be proven in the positive sense, no matter how certainly true they obviously are. That's why evolution is still a theory, because no one has been able to disprove it the way we've already disproved so many of the claims of creationism. Theory is the highest level of confidence science can achieve. It's as close to proven as anything can be, if one applies the mathematic definition of proof, but that's not the one creationists use, so it's not the one I'll use when explaining it to them. Every modern scientific theory is a hypothesis that has been effectively proven, at least in a colloquial sense, by having profound explanative power, where all new information is concordant with it by being consistently supported by all available evidence without contradiction and having already withstood prolonged, substantial battery of tests and critical analysis in peer review. If we're using the terms applicable in a court of law, then evolution has been proven by an overwhelming preponderance of evidence beyond reasonable doubt. The same goes for other scientific theories, too. Einstein's theory of relativity, for example, was effectively proven in the same sense, both with the observation of a solar eclipse warping light beams in 1919, and again with the discovery of gravity waves a century later. The National Academy of Science declares that evolution is both a fact and a theory because every modern scientific theory both is and explains established fact, like the theory of gravity, relativity, tectonic plate theory, atomic theory, oxygen theory, cell theory, and the germ theory of disease. We know that cells are the basis of living organisms, that diseases are caused by germs, and that all matter is made of atoms. These are all facts, as well as theories. If you've ever said this to anyone before, surely they've corrected such a glaring error, and you must have known since then that you're not being honest now. So when you say that evolution is just a theory, we hear you admitting that it is the only 
theory of biodiversity there ever was, and that it is just the best supported, most evidently credible, factually accurate, pragmatic, and truthful explanation there is for the origin of species.